Hey everyone, it's Dan. Welcome to another episode of Guitar Talk. Roll that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back today. We are looking at the limited edition Epiphone Jared James Nichols Gold Glory Les Paul. Checking out the specs at the body of this, it's really minimalistic. So we've just got a single Seymour Duncan P90, compensated fixed bridge, which is just the single tail piece. It's not a double tail piece. Volume, tone, mahogany body, maple top, and then you've got a double bound body as well. And then control plate on the back. Checking out the neck side of things on this, it's a big old neck on this, bound 22 frets, ebony fretboard. You've got your big inlays on there as well. The neck itself is painted gold and it's a satin finish. You've got Grover tuners on the back of the headstock and Jared's signature. Flip it round, obviously we've got the new Epiphone style headstock and it says blues power on the truss rod cover. <laughs> QC on this um, straight out of the box, I've got to be honest, there was a slight issue. When I plugged it in, the, um, the, there was no sound. So obviously took the back plate off, found the loose wire, reconnected it, and all was good again. It sounded awesome. Um, tuning stability isn't amazing, but I suspect that that's the strings, and once you change the strings, that'll be fine. Other than that, this thing plays amazingly. It's been set up really well straight out of the box. The frets have been done really well, so there's no sharp fret ends or anything like that. They're nice and smooth when you're doing bends. The quality of woods that have been used look really good to me. So top marks for that stuff. But yeah, as I said, just hands up, there were a couple of issues straight out of the box. This is meant to be based on a 55 Les Paul Custom. I mean, I've, I've not played a 55 Les Paul Custom, so I don't know how that compares, but what I can say is it feels really good. Um, the neck, they have not shied away from that mid-50s big Gibson neck. Personal preference, but you know the big necks aren't for me, um, and this is certainly a big neck. It doesn't seem to get any slimmer as you go down towards the body. Uh, it, it's perfectly comfortable and it's been done really well. As I say, just personal preference, big necks aren't for me. So just be aware, if you like slim necks, this guitar might not be for you. If you like chunky necks, then this thing is perfect. <laughs> The sound and tone that you can get out of this thing, I know a lot of people are gonna look at this and just go, ah, single P90, it's, it's not gonna be versatile, rubbish tone, you know, whatever. Couldn't be more wrong. A single P90 with just a volume and tone, there is a wealth of tones that you can get out of that. 
just by rolling off the tone a little bit, rolling back the volume a little bit when you're on a drive sound, you know, that's how I like my Les Pauls is I want to get a clean tone just by rolling off the volume a little bit when I'm playing for a dirty amp and this cleans up really well. You can get big heavy tones out of this, snarly blues tones and some just nice chimey, clean, articulate sounds as well. <laughs> Tuning stability on this, as I mentioned, I have had a few issues keeping it in tune, but it's got Grover tuners on it and you've got the single fixed bridge on there. So there shouldn't be any issues with tuning, but I think it's gonna be the strings are just cheap strings. And once they've been changed for something nicer, then there shouldn't be any issues there whatsoever. So the finish they describe as like double H gold. I don't know if by that they mean where it's all satin, so it's not like shiny or anything. If you are expecting like relicking and lacquer checking and stuff out of the box, this guitar, it, it doesn't have it. So I'm not sure quite what they mean by the aging. Um, there's little bits right around the edge of the binding and the paint where there's a couple of little marks in the paint. Um, I'm not sure if that's done on purpose or if that's just where they've sprayed it gold. But yeah, when I, when I read that this was gonna be double aged gold, I expected some kind of relicking, but there, there's nothing. So if that's what you were expecting, you'll be let down. Um, but if you're just after a cool gold double satin guitar, then yeah, that, that's what this is. In terms of value for money, yeah, I, I reckon I'd own one of these. Um, the wood feels really good. The Seymour Duncan in there is great. It gives you a great range of tones. There's nothing wrong with the volume and tone on this, but I'd maybe strip that out and just put some nicer wiring in there. Um, as I said, I think with better strings, it's gonna stay in tune a lot better. But I've, I've said this before about another guitar, the Fender Vin, uh, Noventa Telecaster that had a similar setup. I think once you strip away, you know, the extra pickup, select a switch, all that stuff, and you just got a single volume tone, single pickup, you, just, you can just really concentrate on playing. It's just meat and potatoes, you know, simplistic. There's just nothing else to concentrate on. So for that setup for me, like personally, I think this is a real workhorse guitar that's gonna serve someone really, really well. Looks-wise, I have never really been a fan of gold top Les Pauls, but there is certainly something about this with its minimalistic look that just ticks all the boxes for me. Um, it's not just gold top Les Pauls that I've been a fan of. I've just not been a, a fan of gold-coloured guitars in general, but 
there is something about this that with the wooden floors in here and the amps and everything, if you catch this in just the right light, it just sets it off perfectly and it just looks gorgeous. So there we go, that is the Jared James Nichols Gold Glory Les Paul. Sorry if it seemed like I didn't give out a lot of information in this review, but obviously it's a very minimalistic guitar, so there's not a lot of stuff to give information on other than, yeah, it had a couple of drawbacks, but other than that, it's an awesome guitar. Feels great, sounds great, plays great, chunky neck. There you go, there's a sum up. Could have done this review in like 10 seconds. Um, other than that, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you a fan of the single P90? Uh, do you like your guitars a bit more complicated? As I say, let me know and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.